That's all. Okay, what's next? Uh, WooCommerce. Okay. I was, I was hoping you could give them like a five minute crash course on how it, once you have the plugin in and, and why it's beneficial to probably get a theme that already has it. Sure, yeah, okay. Okay, um, when you're looking for, again, themes, WordPress repository is a good place to start if you guys have already been there. Okay, you go to WordPress.org and then to the themes area, which you've probably already been. Don't forget too, you're not limited to these themes inside the WordPress repository, okay? These are just the ones that are available on the WordPress site itself. You can always just do a Google search for WordPress themes or are free, okay? And you'll come across lots of other sites that have lots of different themes you can use that aren't just the ones that are on the WordPress site. So something to keep in mind as well, okay? You can go to premium dot whatever this one is, okay, creative blog dot com. They're gonna have like thirty uh, themes you might like better than the ones on the main WordPress site. Okay, so don't just come here and think this is your only location for it. You can go anywhere, okay? And look through anything on the site that you want to. Okay? What are we looking for, Mike? Um oh nothing. I'm just oh yeah, WooCommerce. Oh yeah, okay. I actually have them linked to Woo themes. There's you already have a Themes well, yeah, I, what I would do then is come into here and just type in like a commerce site, okay, or just put in e commerce or something like that, or store, okay, because like here's a couple of them that are shipping out market, you know, uh, uh, yeah. boot stores. These are already themes that are already ready to go that already have a built in store system. So you want a theme that's usually catered already to that type of setup, okay, so you have a proper layout ready to go that's for a theme. And you can always preview these before if you haven't done this already, okay? Take a look at the preview of how it's gonna look. See if it's gonna match up with what you want. Okay, run through it before you actually install it and you actually get it on your WordPress theme. Okay, so those are all parts to take a look at. Now, if you wanted to do it manually and you wanted to get WooCommerce by yourself, okay, you're coming into here, okay, and you'll be able to grab the WooCommerce uh, plugin itself. Uh, this one was updated on tw October 29th, so it was updated about uh, two and a half weeks ago. So that means that's pretty good. That means they're constantly updating it. Okay, they came out years and years ago now. Um, has an average rating as well. You always want to take a look at these things, especially the amount of downloads. Okay, this plugin's got over five million downloads on it. So it's obviously a popular choice. Okay, so when you install uh, WooCommerce, uh, this is basically what it looks like in the back end. Okay, of your site. Okay. So you go to the WooCommerce area, and we've got a whole bunch of different things that you've got to do after you've got it installed. So as soon as you click on install it in the uh, plugins area, okay, which is just going to here, you can do it through this way, it's a little bit easier. You go to your plugins menu, okay, and then from in here, if we can just go to add new plugin, or click on that button at the top right there, and we can also search for it here. Okay, mine's already going to be installed, obviously. Yeah, so just maybe go then right to the plugin. Yeah. You now it has its own menu in the dashboard. Yeah, so as soon as you click on install, it's going to install it right here. It'll activate, okay? And then you'll get this appearing on the left hand side. Now, this is pretty straightforward because it just it has all of your, uh, your, your reports and your settings and your add ons and everything else. Uh, you know, a couple of things you're going to have to do is the first thing you get to do with any other plugin that you get is always configure the settings on it, okay? So go through and figure out you know, your location, where you're located, who, uh, who you're selling your products to, which countries you're selling it to. So there's main settings that you're going to have to go through, okay? Currency settings, are you selling in US dollars or Canadian dollars? All that stuff. You need to configure it first before you actually start to work with it, okay? So that's the very, very first step. Okay, and then there's a whole bunch of other settings that you can get into. Yeah, okay? So if you just went to products and started adding stuff, would they make them as pages without you having to go to pages? To yeah, so let's go to our, our product right here. So it also comes with this product section right here, okay? <coughs> now if you go into adding a product, okay, it works the same way that you would um, creating a new page, basically. It looks like, a, sort of, you know, like you're making a new page. You're putting your product name in here. Okay, and this will be like the description for your product. Okay, and then you're basically just filling in the information for it, pricing of it, how much it is. Okay, and then yeah, we use what's known as these short codes that allow us to add it to any page that we want. But by default, this WooCommerce system itself will automatically create the pages that you need for you, like the shop page 
and the ticket page, the checkout page. All those pages are automatically created for you once you install this plugin. That's it's important to remember that. Okay, so as you add these products, they all go into a store page automatically for you. Okay, so if you go into your pages section, you're gonna notice that you've got a store page here. And that was created for you by the system just to make it a little bit less easier, uh, sorry, a little bit less, less difficult for you guys to work with it. So here's our store, store pages here, okay? And then you can go to the store actual page, okay? And it's gonna pull up all the parts that you're working with on that particular page that you're on. So these are all sort of pre-set up for you again, okay? All this stuff is already all set up and ready, it was ready set to go. Up like, uh, when you go to, when you went to make a product that had things along the right side, like the same way you categorize a post? Yes. So would it put certain products on certain pages according to what they are? Yeah, yeah. Well, you can, you can specify the amount of categories that you want to. So if you want to have it in certain categories, you can make categories for products. If you want them all to be on one page because you're only selling like five of them, that's fine. You can do them all on one page. But you can have specific categories, if you wish, uh, for products. But again, that's inside of here. You have to go to the products yeah, okay. and into categories and then create the categories okay, that you want to have your products in. Are you guys watching this? I know there's several of you in here that have been asking me about this. Okay, so here's the product categories. Oh, nice, cool. Okay, so here's all my categories for, you know, this oil manufacturing company, okay? Accessories, fuel floor flutter, greases, okay, spray lubricants, a lot of stuff, okay? There's all my categories. And if I add my product, if I go to add my product, once again, if I just do an add product test right here, on the right hand side, Okay, I can choose which categories it belongs to because I've made them already. So I've made like, accessories, and maybe it belongs to this one as well. And then, and then I'm just tagging them as categories. If you click on a category page, you can use that link to link directly. Yes, to exactly. Yeah. Yes. Can you show us how to, like for example, add attributes, like for colors, for example? So there's one product and it has different colors. Or for example, a different size that has a different price according to the size. So something like that. What do you mean? Colors for the products. Well, like if, if someone is selling a sweater and the sweater comes in white, black. Oh, red. oh, different variables. So the attributes. Yes, right? yes, of course. Okay, the attributes um, are basically right in here. It's actually called attributes. Um, and what you'll be able to basically be able to do is you go in here and come into add, okay, and then you'll put down here like the color, okay, so it'd be like the color of the shirt, okay, and then you'll have some values in here, okay. You'll have like you know white, gray yellow okay and then once you're done adding some of those in okay you basically will click on save we'll put visible as well and you'll see these attributes in the inside of here okay and then now I can actually use these as part of options that they can choose for products that I'm picking so I'll show you how that works in one of the ones that I've made so I'll do that with like a, a sizing one uh, I know I've got one that I've done for that Um, this is an application bottle right here that I made. Okay, so in my application bottle, for an example, same kind of thing, go down to attributes. Okay, and I just called one uh, called sizes. Okay, and I've just got two different sizes. So I've got a 12 ounce, and I'm separating with the one using the pipe symbol, because that's what it told me to do in this area here. You just said separate your products using this pipe symbol. So I just put in either my color or my size or my weight or whatever it is. Okay, separate them with this pipe sign, okay, and that's all you have to do. And then you click on add and then and then save, okay, and make sure you click on visible as well, the product page. This is all done inside the attributes area of this WooCommerce area, which is right below the description. Can you show us how what it's gonna look like? Yeah, sure. Okay, so if we go to um in the yeah, let's, it should snap back for me. Okay, so now if I go to my shopping page, it's going to shop all products. If I can specify which kind of product I want to go and do. Okay, first of all, it'll tell you as well if there's pricing differences per sizes. So it's ranging from a dollar to dollar twenty-four. Okay, there's a couple of them. So let's just go into it first. Okay, and then it'll right here is what it'll be. Instead, it'll say colors. 
okay, or shirt colors, if you want to say it like yeah. more specific, okay, and then there'll be a drop down for you to pick, you know, yellow, gray, white, okay, you'll be able to choose, you'll say choose an option, and it'll have the options down here for you. And if it's got more, and if you also associate pricing, so if you want like a yellow shirt, be more expensive than a white shirt or a yeah. black shirt, then you can associate pricing differences as well. And then that yeah. will also change it, and it'll adjust the values down here on that for you. It has that's all done in attributes. That's all done in attributes. Yeah, it's really, really that simple. It's you just going through it, putting in the attribute that you want inside of there, um, and then that's basically it. So let me see if I can show you again on another one. So this one that I've already been, I've already made. Okay, and then so in here I can add a new attribute. Okay, visible on the product page, and then again, add like the color, and I'll say here enter some text or attributes. Okay, separated by the pipe sign, so we just know which ones are separated from other ones. Can you actually show the, the color, or is, is it just text? It's just going to be text. Yeah, it's just going to be text, but you'll be able to see it, which so makes sense. So if you wanted the product to switch, you just have to make it in the product page. Yeah. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's going to actually be able to switch the colors on it for you. I haven't done that before, so I don't, yeah, I don't know. Is, but Amazon, uh, well, Amazon. I know what you mean, though. When you click on it, then it changes scale. the color to kind of show you what the color can look like. But I know you can do it this way. Um, that I know for sure. I don't know if you can do it by actually changing the actual product itself where it's changing color. Uh, maybe. Again, I haven't done that, so I'm not really quite sure. Have a picture, just show all of them. Yeah. And kind of lined up in the picture. It's hard to get when Amazon does. Not even. You shop on Amazon frequently. You notice that not all products do that because it's it's just more work, right? It's it's um, when I when I bought some stuff for my daughter, like I was getting her a red bike, and the only color that you could see was black, even though I could get red, yellow, pink, blue. I could always do the colors. They wouldn't change when I went to them because that's just what they have in that manufacturing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not like people are going to be really annoyed by that, but you could have. So, could you set it up that like if you? No, I was just gonna say if you like if you choose say the red shirt, yeah. would the picture could the picture possibly change to the red shirt? Yeah, maybe. Like I've I've never done different. it like that. Like I know what you're talking about, so if you're choosing a color, then it'll change and so show you that color. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Online, it's like a real shopping experience. That's right. Yeah, yeah, you might be able to do it. I've never done it. Like I've I've never gone through and done color products before. I just haven't had, I've never gone through that for a client yet. Um, but uh, I'm sure there's some kind of option there available for them. You'd have to kind of Google it, it seems and like figure the flexibility. it out. Like, I mean, it seems like with the options that you have, there should be a way to yeah. get around that. Well, it would be in, inside these attributes right here. And I just don't see where the option is to do that inside of here, unless there's advanced options for it. Uh, purchase their inventory, link product, attributes. No. But you know, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's doing the customer a disservice just if they have the same exact name of products, but they're just different colors. Yeah. So it's like da 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 sweater blue, da 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 sweater yellow. Yeah. And you just set them up as yeah. 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 I don't. I, I don't. I don't see it in there, so I would assume not. But. Uh, yeah. How many images can you add, really? Yeah. If you scroll down a little bit, right? So where it has um, product gallery, and you can add your images. Like how many yeah. images can you add? You can add as many as you want. It's unlimited. And but how would they appear? So that would be the feature. They so just like appear right down below the product yeah. itself. And so that would be an idea. Oh. Yeah, you can oh, post yeah. the different pictures of yeah. Oh yeah, you could do like that. And yeah. Then, and then in there, um, you can just have like color category. And they can choose their colors. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you could do it like that. Because this, this is just going to show all the additional photos that yeah. you want for that product. But it won't change. Like, if they choose like yellow or blue, it's not going to change up here, though. No. That's all. Yeah, no, but no, they no can, that's fine. But if they can, if but they they can still the see it. They can see it, and they then can. they can choose the colors. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll show you where that. If I add another one of these images here. Uh, yeah, you can add two or three just to show. I guess it has to be one at a time. Oh, wait, no. no, you can hold your <coughs> control key down and you can do multiple oh, selections. Okay, yeah. Oh, Put see. your mouse 
also uh, and click on it. Yeah. So. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good job, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of these below here for you. Um, the, the store that I'm doing is going to be very meticulous with the products. I'm oh, okay. Different kinds of attributes. And yep. And it's, yeah. Yeah. So again, that's all. All that. Well, you can throw as many as you want. Though, just keep adding more and more to the bottom. Okay. Can, so you can have about six or so per image, Ooh, which is pretty good. Excited. Thank you. Yeah, that was awesome, Martin. Yeah. So I don't, I don't see an option for switching images, but that should be okay for that for that portion of it. So yeah. So you know. That's the sort of the overall overall process in it. And again, your know, product, all your product pages will automatically be all set up for you guys all together. Okay, so again, that's already all done. All you're doing is going in and creating products, adding products. Okay, and then don't forget that your featured image section, which is down right here, okay, is your main product image that you're going to be using for that image on your store. Okay, it's this featured image part. So you know these uh, product galleries here are just additional images that we just added. Okay, I'm just going to take those off now. Um, what else do we want to go through, Mike? Uh